All right, now we are going to tackle the lettuce. That's some crazy stuff. All we're going to do is get the basic quality of it. Remember, the color doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want to get into where it's kind of darker, kind of medium, a little bit lighter and really light. And we want to watch out for the edges and um, whether the edges are uh, crisp and clean or whether they kind of blend. All right, so that's all we want to do. And again, I'm going to start to work kind of dark to light. It's a good way to use um, um, acrylic paint. On my palette, I just have a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, a little bit of uh, the darker thalo green, and right now just a little bit of the lighter, um, the light green it's called in the, on this set. I just have a medium brush and a couple of small ones. Here we go. So remember, it's something that you can paint over if you're not really liking it. So let's get some, start it off with just some medium green. And this is the, uh, the light green out of the bottle. Again, you can see the, you can see a lot of the brush strokes from that first blocking in coat. So this next coat kind of just covers the canvas a little better. Again, go right up to the cheese there. If I cover up the cheese with some green, I can just touch up the corner of the cheese there, no big deal. All right, and I'm only gonna go about halfway over because that's all you're required to do. And again, this is much darker than a lot of the um, lettuce will be. So I'm just giving it that slightly darker undercoat. And your blocked in coat could have been this dark as well. Again, no water in the brush really. If you put your brush in the water, make sure to wipe it off. All right, that's about halfway over. Now it's really a matter, I think, of going, kind of going back and forth between the darks and the lights. I think that's the way I typically work. But if you want to do all the, the medium, to, uh, the dark tones first, that's great. So I'm going to grab some of the darker green. And I do, I, is that, no, that's dry. I'm going to grab some of the darker green. I'm looking at my resource quite a bit. And I see a good dark patch right in here. And it kind of fades away. There might be an edge of some lettuce happening right there. And let's see, where else do I see a dark patch? I see a dark patch right out here somewhere. And again, some of this is going to get covered up. There's kind of another dark patch right there. And let's go over here a little bit. And let's call this a dark patch right there. Okay. Wiping off. If I want that to feather a little bit, you can use this dried off brush as a feathering tool. Okay, I will probably just do a little bit and then do a little bit more in time lapse. This, all these details are the thing that takes the most time. So now I'm going to take some yellow and some of the, some of the lighter green and kind of give that a quick little tap on my, on my, um, on my palette and start to see, move my picture. And I have my photo kind of zoomed in. So I'm going to start to get some of that medium quality. Kind of working around some of the darker parts, but I can um, completely go over where the darker parts were. I just double loaded a little bit of the light green, a little bit of yellow. You can kind of see it separate. And as soon as I start to apply it, it may look separate, but in just a moment, it will blend together. Let's see, let's get this down here. Okay, not even close yet. So let's do a little bit more yellow, a little bit more light green, and kind of start to really feel for where the folds and everything are. And again, this is seriously something you're not gonna get exact, but you wanna to try to capture some of the, the feel of how the, let me get my picture here, 
on how the, the leading edge of the, of the lettuce really wiggles around like a little snake. Okay, now I'm just going to grab the yellow. And the yellow, when it mixes in with the green in here, will get, so at first it might be really bright like that. But as soon as we start to do a little mixing, and now I can kind of start to tell myself where I want some of that little snaky quality. Maybe it goes down here. See, already just with that stroke right there, you can kind of see where some of it is, the edge of some of the, the lettuce is. My next move will be with some of with the uh, smaller paintbrush. I need to I need to really lighten up some of these areas. This is awfully dark lettuce, but if your lettuce is generally a little darker than it is in the photo. It's okay. As long as you have good dark, medium, and light tones to help show where the lettuce has come to life, that's all good. All right, I'm going to put that away. I put that away in the water because I'm not going to wash it out right now. Now let's grab a little bit of yellow. And now I'm going to start to look at my photo quite a bit. Let's see if I can Capture, and I'll be using some yellow and white a little bit later, too. I'm going to try to capture where some of the leading edges are. And this lettuce has lots of little wiggles and bumps. And you have to kind of just start to see where, where it comes forward. Put a little bit of white in my brush too, just so I can make this one kind of come forward a little bit. Now, this is what I mean by you can kind of go back and forth. I'm going to just do a little wipe. I'm going to grab the darker green and make sure this stays dark right behind that little leading edge. Maybe down here too. Then I can wipe, grab some of the white a little bit of yellow and start to make a little more of that leading edge and many times this will take a couple of coats to do that so don't be too impatient with that so you can already I think you can already start to see or feel the uh, the lettuce wiggling around I'm gonna go a little darker right next to that leading edge I'll probably put some of the dark blue on my palette so I can get some of those parts even darker. All right, let me put it into hyperspeed. I'll do. I'll kind of finish this half. Um, I'm also going to, at the end of this, talk about changing up this background too in a good way. Okay, I've finished this part of the lettuce, and I want to let you know that you can tell, when you look close, this lettuce is not exactly like that lettuce. I think I could probably put some lighter areas in, um, maybe a couple more little wiggles of the edges, but it's completely close enough. It has a natural feel. Um, I did put a lot of the dark blue in the darkest areas, mixed it with a little bit of green. But what I want to do now is focus on the bottom and this is a, something I'm going to change quite a bit and I want to show you how to neutralize a color. We may have talked about it in class before but I want this bottom to be lighter and I want it to be a very neutral tone, kind of a grayish tone. So what I'm going to do is use our color theory and that means I'm going to have some red and green which are two opposite colors and some white and you can also see, this will be a sample of how you can just cover up what you don't like and continue, um, and you can change your mind. So I'm going to take white first. There's a little bit of white, and I'm just barely going to touch. I'm using the light green, and I'm going to just turn my brush and use a little bit of the crimson red, just enough to kind of 
Remember, red and green are opposite colors. So that maybe isn't quite dark enough. I'm going to just grab the tiniest bit more green on the other corner and the tiniest bit more red. That's probably more like it. So it's very much of a gray tone. And then, see that? I'm just going to cover this up. completely cover it up. And it might take two coats, depending on how thick the paint is right there. Now, before, and this, this works for any color. Before you completely run out, I have a little bit left right there. I'm going to grab a little more white and, can, and make a little bit more before I completely run out. And that's not very much paint, doesn't matter. But remember, start with the white. Do, don't, if you want to make a light gray kind of a feel. You could use blue and orange, that doesn't matter at all. So now this base is going to be a lot lighter. And it will allow that shadow that I painted in a while ago, which I probably will go over again with kind of a dark blue, maybe a little blue-green mix. Maybe a little red-green mixed with some blue to get it darker. So that's completely okay to cover up something that you were not satisfied with before. Like I might make that, I'm going to grab just a little bit of white that's in the on the palette. Make one side a little bit lighter than the other. So there's a little bit of interest of gradation. And let that kind of fade away over there. I should probably wait till the first coat to dry before I mess with it. Sometimes it picks up the paint when it's not quite dry. But I think yeah, if I wanted to get a little darker over here, watch this. I'll just grab the tiniest bit of green and the tiniest bit of red and just there's a chunk of something there. And just kind of let that fade in and blend in. A little color interest never hurt anybody. All right, I like that better. All right, there you go. And uh, I'll try to finish the whole thing and come back and at least have a picture of it on the uh, slideshow. All right, have fun with this. Go for it. You can do nothing wrong as, except for sit there and do nothing. Um, uh, and again, you can see that you can fix things up after it dries. And I again, I still have to put a little bit more color on that little shadow right there, but I'll do that off camera.